Teamwork makes the dream work. Warning. The actions in this video are performed by highly skilled handlers and animals conditioned for safe interactions. It is against the law to feed, harass, or interact with wild alligators and crocodiles. As such, any unlawful interactions with wild alligators or zoological animals without professional supervision will likely end in serious injury or death. Interland strongly discourages anyone from attempting to imitate the actions of our trained employees. Y'all don't try this, you hear? Hey y'all, it's me, Savannah, and Mike Heilman. And this morning we're super excited because Dingo Dinkleman is coming yeah. to Gatorland all the way from South Africa. And he has Nile crocodiles. So. Yes, he does. So we're going to play a, just a little joke. Just a little, a little joke. joke. It'll be fun anyways. So we yesterday, Delilah has a bunch of test holes. And so we dug up the test holes. And what did we find? Little turtle eggs. <laughs> we found a bunch of soft-shelled little turtle eggs. So. We're going to have Ingo assist us in collecting Nile crocodile eggs this morning, and they're going to be the turtle eggs. Yeah. His face is probably going to be very confused. Yeah, so we hid the eggs back because, of course, the raccoons will get in there. So we packed them back down, and we know Delilah's hanging out there because she either has already laid eggs or she's planning on laying eggs there. So we're going to take Dingo back there, and we're going to be like, hey, we got Nile crocodile eggs right here. He's going to be excited. Yeah, he's going to be super excited. And then, and then we'll he's going to be let down. <laughs> I think he'll think it's funny. After. The first thing we're gonna do with them is take them to the Nile crocodile eggs that are really turtle eggs. Oh gosh, you're really throwing them to the fire, huh? It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Good, good, good. Hello. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, and this just came about yesterday, so we're gonna put your luggage down, and then we're gonna take you straight down this walkway where one of our Nile crocodiles laid eggs. Yes. We're gonna go collect those eggs yes. first, and then we're gonna move on to other stuff. Woo! So now we got Nile crocodile eggs. The mom's up on the nest right now. So we're gonna go collect these eggs. Are you down? I'm down. Now crocodile eggs taking them up the nest. One of my favorite things. But in the she's world. a feisty mama croc. So we'll send in we'll send in Mark first. <laughs> we'll send Mark in first, see what happens. Then yeah, Savannah, I'll go like a little like a little mongoose. Take all right. All right. Danny, is this all we got? Yeah, we do. That, uh, these are South African sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you do? You go Why super not? fast. You pin it. It's like a mamba. You pin it. All good. All right. Hey, you guys, go ahead. Okay. So <laughs> we really don't have Nile crocodile eggs. We have turtle eggs. So we're gonna trick them. Excellent. We love it. Okay, good. We need a plankton. It's been causing trouble. <laughs> you see, the crocodilian species. That kills more people every year than all the other 26 combined, the Nile crocodile. I'm a little bit biased, but I love them. They are yeah. amazing though. Right. So hopefully we find some babies of them. Oh, you're ready, Let's go. Let's where was she, Savannah? She's, she's right in here. This is usually where she laid. We were waiting for you to get here to try to oh, find eggs. Put a bunch of legends. Hopefully. In this area right here is where you were hoping for. I'm going to help you guys dig. Yeah, we got roots. So that's not a, a great sign of eggs. Oh, this so, looks like a soft, yeah? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, there's an egg shell. Right on your finger, right on your finger. There's something. I hope the raccoons didn't get back here. It's much softer here. Check, check, oh, wait, 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 wait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No, nah. rock. <laughs> Whoa, a Florida rock. A Florida rock, <laughs> I haven't seen a Florida rock They're before. crazy. This is insane. <laughs> it's softer though. No, it's getting harder. There we go, there we go, what's that? That's your egg! Nile crocodile egg! <laughs> that looks a little different. It's a small one! <laughs> what do you mean? In Africa. What do you mean? Here's a baby egg, this one. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little booby egg, look at that. Yours are bigger than those? Did you guys <laughs> plant the <laughs> Yeah. That's what all of our Nile crocodile eggs are. <laughs> they did a whole bunch of them. What is it? <laughs> oh, God, it's just tortoise egg! What is it? <laughs> They're Nile eggs! Didn't you see the light bulb? The Florida Nile. It is an egg. It is an egg. What is it though? It's a Nile crocodile. 
Alright, I don't mean this in a rude way. There's something wrong with your mouth. Look at this. I could pop this out. This is a weird. Look at it. It's just half off. But it's an egg. No, man. This is ridiculous. Oh, no. Come on. What is it? Is this a tortoise egg? What is it like a goat tortoise or something? The Americans are taking a piss here. Savannah's almost wetting herself. Oh, that's a dolphin. What's going on? I believe. Oh, I believe they're soft shell turtles. <laughs> So none of the eggs are any good anyways. So we found them and we were like, oh, let's cover them up. When Dingo comes, <laughs> when Dingo comes, we'll tell them, we'll tell them we have not crocodile eggs. And then, and then, take Savannah. She's almost wet to yourself. <laughs> oh no, I was, I was very confused. I, I can't even this. breathe right now. I thought they were like a prosthetic or something. Someone <laughs> broke on the wall behind you. I was like, no, come on, what is this? I dug with my broken arm. <laughs> oh, come on. An infertile turtle here. You found a pretty quick turtle. You're, hey, you're pretty well, good at that's this. That's why I was down here and you said, no, she normally does. Yeah, then Savannah got stuck in. Oh, I hope you had soft. <laughs> Yes, she did. Not, not yet. And just so you guys know, before everybody freaks out, those were not viable soft shell turtle eggs. They're old ones. They're already yellow. Aww. He just ate one. Um, <laughs> there are no soft shell turtles in there. Sometimes when the soft shell turtles bury their eggs too low, uh, they kind of get cemented in by the rains here in Florida. So don't worry. Uh, everything's fine. I know people like to freak out about stuff like that. So I want to be very Calm clear. Down. You guys like the splash park? No, dude, it's fake media. Hey, Evan, fake media. Evan, 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 get out of here, Evan, Evan, get out of here. No, no you have no can idea. I've been really excited. Can I just say guys. that Evan just shoved me out of the way? <laughs> my boss, I, he just pushed me out of the way. I pushed my big boss out of the way to meet you. Man. Evan, so I'm, I'm going to talk to you later. You just look like you got passion yeah. and enthusiasm. Oh, absolutely. So maybe, Evan knows. maybe we need to get you over to Africa for a little bit. Huh? I think we should. I think I should go play some Black Mambas with y'all. <laughs> I'm just right. trying to poach stuff on a video in front of everyone. We're going to HR. Okay, so where we're going now is probably the most dangerous animal in the park. Yes. Not just because he's a salty, but because he's a raging, raging lunatic salty. He also doesn't like black shit. Yeah, and no, well, you got to be able to run. You got to be able to run fast. Yeah, yeah I'm fast. I don't. I Brian Barcheck was here, and I completely knocked him down and ran over the top of him <laughs> one time. Brian's slow though. You know, we, we get chased by elephant and lion and stuff, so we have to be super nimble. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. All right, now guys, highlight on my life. Coming in with saltwater crocodiles. <laughs> I've only got Niles back at home. Salties and Sheila, she's a handful. She's gonna chase Danny. I don't know if she knows that. She looks like she does know it, but she's gonna chase Danny. Super pumped. Go, Danny. Shall I push him? I'm going in a sec. Danny, don't be scared. Come on, Sheila. Right here. Over here. Come on. Whoa! Top up, top up, 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 up. Good luck, Danny. Don't run out of chicken. So where is he going to come? Is he going to come See, up at I'm us? I'm going to try and get him to come this way because I don't want him to hit the rock. But salt I mean, crocodiles. He doesn't. He didn't read the script. <laughs> Morton seems a little bit slow. Morton. Come on, Australia. He sees a South African. He's intimidated. That's what it is. <laughs> is that what it is? That's what it is. Actually, they know we beat them in rugby. We beat them in cricket. Anything that counts, we beat them. So he sees and he thinks, oh, I can't take on a South Africa. I feel like this video just got into international politics. <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's wake him up and let him know that we're here. Oh. <laughs> now together. you got him. Get ready to run. Morton, come here, Bubba. That other one slipped out of my hand. I don't oh, have Mike. Piece. I don't have another Go piece get another piece hand. quick. Go, Mark. I'll be all right. Oh, what a catch. Oh, Mark. that was a good shot. Oh. Oh. The throw is even better. Mm. Morte, come on, bud. Whoa, big Morte. boy. Look how big Sheila, you are. Sheila, 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 here. Danny's run out of chicken because we stole this. Morte. Look Morte. at Morton. That's perfect. Morton. He's much bigger when he's out the water, as always. Come here, bud. Morton. Come on this time. Come, come, come with me. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Yeah. 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 Last, bro. How big would you say is about 
15 foot. He doesn't sit still long enough to measure him. Yeah. And nobody wants to hold the tape on the front. Okay. <laughs> and shoot this hip. That's incredible. Ooh. And a bird. He's a bird pup. We're stuck. I don't like this. But Debbie and Savannah are stuck. We, I'm just admiring hey, hey, a saltwater cocktail. Do you want to go grab lunch real quick? Yeah, let's go get a lunch. Coke Zero? If you throw that piece of chicken in the water, they'll get out of my way. Go get it. Make a run for it, Savannah. Go, Savannah. Go, go, go. go. I heard it on Savannah's video. Thank you. What's your name? Philip. Philip. Well, thanks for coming to see us. Are you having a great day? Mm -hmm. What's your crocodile's name? Um, Tony. Tony the crocodile? Mm -hmm. Awesome! Great to meet you. Boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Woo! That one right there. That game. Why do you play all these tricks now? Let's go. Come on. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Come on. The Around the corner. Okay. Come up. One more. Yes, please. Dundee. That's disgusting. He don't care about that. Dundee. Dundee. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come there you go, good boy! Grab that piece of throw it to me, Is that amazing? Salt water crocodile. Woo! Yeah. There you go, open up. There you go, big fella. Open. Ah, uh, good job. Woo there you go. Hey, Savannah! <laughs> Alright, so who are we going in to see now? Uh, Sultan. We're going to go see Sultan and Blondie. And have you ever seen Sultan in any of our so videos? I've, I've seen Sultan in your videos. This is one of the reasons I had to come to Gatorland, is because oh. I've seen what you've done with Sultan when he comes up on the rock like that. And I'm like, I've got 14 foot of Niles. They're just a big slugs. And I want to show people that they're intelligent, that they're pretty, that you can, you know what I mean? You get behavior like that. Someone's looking at it, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, you can work safely around them. You just got to pay attention. Incredible thing, man. Come on. I'm super pumped to get in there and see a Nile crocodile do behavior like this. Never seen it anywhere in my life before, except on Go Land videos. All right, come on, kids. You're going to be the bait. We're distractions. Are you scared? I'm going to say, oh. Bonnie, here. Bonnie, come on. Come here. Watch out for Sultan. Oh, no. yeah, you better get your crocodile, man. Uh, he's, in, he's, he's good up there. You want him to stay up there. You just gotta work it out. Do you have a yellow Nile like that, Dingo? You do. I have one called Nugget. I want you to come and see her. Because I don't know if she's hypo or it's like this light greeny yellow eye. And she's like this ridiculous yellow color. But this is the only other one I've ever seen. Hello, big boy. Hello, boy. Look at you. Uh, Rex, get the gate, Rex. Close the gate. Rex! <laughs> now the other gate. The big guy's gone. Okay, Rex, the guy's close it. It amazes Come me on. that you can go from this here to getting him up on a rock. That, that's incredible. But he knows rock. Which way does he come on the rock? Um, here, come behind me. Right behind you, over here. All right, big boy. You gonna come up for me? Whoa. 
This is what I'm talking about. Is look at this. Look at him. Mark. Crocodile up on a rock. Boom. So now in the mark, it's obviously safer because he's on the rock. To get to you now, he has is really tricky. Right? Yeah, yeah, he's gonna Trickier. have to do some things to get up and around that rock. By that time, I should be, you know, gone. In the water. Yeah. See if I can get him to open. Hey. There you go, he's climbing up on there. There you go. Good oh boy. Yes. Good boy. Yeah, I got some chicken today. No barbecue sauce, though. So. Just regular old chicken. Guys, this is one of the highlights of my life. We've been with salt for the crocodiles, and now we're here with big Nile crocodile like this on top of a rock. Good He's on boy. top of a rock getting a chin scratch. I feel like boy. I'm in paradise. Yeah. I've died and gone to heaven. Oh, Mark. so nice. And you Mark's can't... been telling me that I could get some of our crocs to react like this, because this, is sh this shows people you that they're not just killers. So, it's the recipe. You gotta look for the right crocodile. You gotta look for the right environment, the right food, uh, the right feeder. Uh, once you have all that and you set your recipe, you don't stray from it. And uh, as long as you do it every single time, create that consistency, they'll do it. You so, never depend on it 100% though. Because no, you have to expect the unexpected. Have you ever seen a leucistic alligator up close? Never in my life. I didn't even know they existed except through your channel. All right. That's it. Well, you're going to see them in person. Come on. Come on. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Get over here. Get over here. Come here. Hold. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Smile. Hold up. You'll get an albino iguana, which right, kind of and they're kind of dull. Up. It's a bit. We put in South African dwarf. It just sits there, does nothing. Is there any difference in that again? I think these guys are just as high strong. He's not trying to eat Danny. Yeah. I mean, he's smart enough to. That's only because he likes Danny. Well, he's trying to eat oh. right now. Whoa! <laughs> that Very was smart. That was tricky. We that tried was to do that. So now we're talking about intelligence level. Mike tries to teach them all to attack me. Like part of the reason Ricardo attacked that cutout was because Mike taught him to do that. Oh, no, no, no. Good job. Mark. Now you see how the leucistics have a little bit of regular alligator coloring on them as well. Yeah. Like all those little black spots you see that yeah. looks like he's been eating Oreos. It's really just uh, some regular alligator coloring. Wow. Wow. Oh. Good Okay, so the story goes like this. Way, way back in the beginning of the time of Gatorland, like way in the beginning, uh, Owen Godwin, who's the founder of Gatorland, had a big American crocodile named Bone Crusher. And he offered anyone in the world a thousand dollar, and that was a, real, a lot of money at the time, a thousand dollar reward for if they could bring any crocodile in bigger than Bone Crusher. And no one ever won that award. Now, this guy is the son of the original Bone Crusher. Ah, and, and it hasn't lived here its whole life. Now it lives with us, and it's doing a really, really good job. Scott's been taking care of it, and Scott's going to give him some food right now and show Dingo how this American crocodile will beat your Niles all day yeah, long. Sorry about the nerves. <laughs> And temperament in terms of like them compared to Niles compared to Salties. Are they a bit more chilled out? They're a lot more laid back than the Salties and the Niles. Okay, Way more cool. laid back. <laughs> I haven't heard of very many attacks from American crocodiles, but the others, definitely a lot yeah, more. That's okay. <laughs> Look how big he is. He's ready. And how big do these guys get? These guys can get over 16 feet. They're some of the biggest crocodiles in the world. That's American crocodiles, that, huh? yeah. They're really cool. <laughs> I thought, I thought he had died, actually. Come on. Come on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, cool. So how old is he? Oh man. 60, 70s? Yeah. So let's some of his teeth there. Like he's an old boy. He he's is. an old boy. He's actually getting more teeth. He came to us with no Come teeth on. at all. Seriously? Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Come on, he's a chicken. <laughs> Big boy. Oh, that is amazing, right? How's that, guys? This is what it's all about, having kids, having animal people, like all of us combining our power together to work for the animals, like this American crocodile is sitting right in front of us. Woohoo! Yeah. 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 I like that, Dingo! Ready, Lalo? Lalo?